Alright, hello everyone, welcome to another video. So here we have a mock review, which I haven't done in a while. Also, I hope you all like mock reviews, because I've got a crap ton I'm gonna do tonight. So yeah, this is a guy I did a quote-unquote slideshow kind of thing yesterday. A new mock, previously named Plaz, but I realized how stupid that name was. My good friend Iron Claw gave me a better name for this dude. I'm gonna call him Incendor from now on. So, same character, just different name. So yeah, here's this guy. Uh, I here's so there's actually a very interesting story as to how I came up with making this guy. So, I had one of those Star Wars leg pieces. Um. One of those red shoulder pads and the Tahoe Uniter mask laid down next to each other. And I saw those pieces and I thought, hey, that could go for a really good color scheme on a mock. So then, uh, after about two hours of building, I came up with this. And this, this dude was the final result in Sindor now. So yeah, he uses a toe of fire, if you couldn't tell, given the Tahoe mask, of the Tarnock Call Shield, and the Flamethrower. And the red color skin, of course. And he's just got his gold mask mounted on his hip right there. This character actually looks really feminine. That wasn't intended, actually. Uh, I don't know why he looks so feminine, but yeah, he looks cool, I guess. That's all that matters. So, uh, enough of that. Let's actually look. So, his legs here are actually recycled versions of Arsenal's old custom legs, which he has new custom legs now, which I'll go over. When I do a little update video on him in a little bit. Um, so yeah, in case you didn't know, here's like the general structure of them. So, um, the Hero Factory shoes, I like to call them two bold ones attached to that. Uh, attached to this leg piece. Attached to those things that we use on old Titans. Attached to the double socket joints with some fr uh, friction at the top. It's a very simple custom leg design, but it does work. But enough flattering those custom legs. Actually, it's hardly even custom. If not, it's just like triple going in, but like. Yeah, I think it's feet here are extremely simple. Just silver Hero Factory feet with a black Bogart guy attached to the side there. With, of course, two ball joints. Sorry about that. With, of course, two ball joints attached to them. And then the lower leg is also simple. And just the joint with the. Um, Star Wars boot pieces attached. So yeah, very simple. Um, and you know we just got that thing using the old Titan sets with some trans orange Bulrock eyes, which honestly is probably my favorite color out of the Bulrock eyes. I don't know why it just pops. It's good. Um, and you know there's more simple light construction with his golden mask and just mounted on his hip right there, and then his waist. So, this is the exact opposite of Arsenal. It's not to wear, like, his, um, whatchamacallit, waist design is, like, used from Kemsel's custom body. It's the opposite here. The upper body, or, like, the torso, I guess, is that design, and the waist is, like, kind of like design a little bit. So, yeah, it's just using Obaki torsos and attachments here. No, very simple. And then... Obviously, the torso is not mine, it's Ken's Alps, so yeah. Go check out his channel if you want to see some good torso designs. I'm, I'm too stupid to come up with my own torso design, so we're just using that. I mostly use that, and then, like, Master Cog's 999, I think it is, his torso design. Both, both of them really good designs. They work well for different things, so yeah. Um, I actually have it faced the wrong way. It's supposed to be facing this way. But that was intentional, actually, because I wanted to have, like, a Tarnock shield be his, um, chest armor. So his arms, uh, also very simplistic and somewhat custom. The upper isn't custom at all. The lower used that, like, same piece. And then he just used my articulated finger design on his hand, you know. I'm, I'm not even sure that's my design. I'm pretty sure it is. And then, for his flamethrower, funny thing, this is actually the, um, uh... First order pilot thing. I uh, forget the name of it. Like, you, uh, where's the box? Yeah, I don't know where the box is, but like, uh, you probably know what I'm talking about anyway. So just that, but it's upside down and modified a little bit. Or it has, this is not supposed to be fire, it's just supposed to be like a design. I don't have actually a way for fire to shoot out of it. Then, you know, it's just that modified. 
with a tube going to the back. Let's actually take a look at the back of them. Uh, so yeah, very simple right there. Blah blah blah. It's got a spot where you can store a sword. Which here's his sword. He uses one of those like uh, Ninjago Vermilion thing, like the bronze sword, basically. I I originally had it. Where is that? I originally had it as like one of these pieces. But then I saw that piece and I thought it'd work, and it works pretty well. So yeah. Then moving to his neck, he's just got this like little orange chain around his neck. It's not like an artifact or anything. It's just a thing he has. I have no reason for him having that. He just has it. And then, as we already said, his head, you know, just your typical D2 head with red eyes, um, with the Taco United mask. So, let's get on to the story relevance, I guess. So, this guy, some random Tama Torn became a Toa and then joined the Order of Mononui. Story over. That's the whole story. That's the whole story. But, yeah, and in case you're wondering, yes, his sword can go on his back. Literally, like, every single mock I have that has a sword, I like to find a way for it to go on its back. Just so, like, it could store it. There's no way to store his flamethrower, though. But, yeah. That's the same Sindor now. No longer plays in Sindor now. It's tough. But, yeah, thanks, Iron Claw, for the new name. So, yeah. Thank you all for watching, I guess. A ton more reviews on the way, given how much stuff I have to review over here. Also, Merry Christmas, everyone. Christmas is getting close. The, the end.